morning everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio. Um, today I wanted to share with you guys a couple of um, Alice in the Wonderland journals that I've created. This is a design team project for my porch prints using her Alice in Wonderland kit. I will put a link in the description box below um, to that kit that was used within this. Um, and then I've you know, I've got a few other things that um, I would printed off the internet and various places to go with it. But, um, okay, let me see. Where can I get started with this? Uh, what brought this about was um, I was up at the craft show in Birmingham and I had some, <clears throat> found a lady that I got some bits of fabric from and this happened to be within it. Um, so I just kind of tucked it away and then when I spotted Stephanie's um, kit for this I was ready to make it because I love it. Um, a lot of the Alice in Wonderland kits I've seen <clears throat> can be kind of on the grungy side and I really liked hers because it lent, you know, it leans toward the shabby chic. So. Um, they're very similar, but I will do a flip through of each of them because there are some uh, differences. So I've done some stitching around it. This has got the um, Peltex sandwich between. This is the first time I've used Peltex. What are my thoughts on that? Um, to be perfectly honest, for convenience, I say yes. It's a little bit pricey here in the UK, and my fabric tutorial, now that I've used it, and I wouldn't have said this until I had used it, um, I'm actually very, very happy with my own uh, system, uh, but I've got enough to do quite a few, so I will go ahead and use it up, but I don't know that I would spend that additional money, um, because I think mine is every bit as sturdy. It's just this is slightly more convenient, I would say. Um, but the feel is very similar to what I achieved with my own um, tutorial. So I will probably go ahead and link the tutorial to how I make fabric covers um, for those of you who don't have that on hand and um, are curious about it. But now that I've used it, like I said, I personally am very happy with my own because it's very um, durable. Okay, so I just took a vintage doily and I hand sewed that. I didn't want to glue it because the glue would come, you know, show through. So I've just stitched it to hold that in place. Um, I just felt as though the fabric, I didn't want to take away from that, but it did need something. So I'm happy with how that's come out. Um, and then this is the inside, the front. Again, it's lined with this fabric and I thought that was a beautiful print, coordinated really nice with it. And it's kind of a, um, like a soft burlapy type, but it's a tighter weave, obviously. Um, so I've just put in bits um, and pieces that coordinate. Um, and like I said, not all of these are um, from the kit that Stephanie gives you. Um, so be mindful of that. But um, just a bit of layering here and some old buttons and this is the papers from the kit and I love them because you've got the roses it's just I think it's it's the prettiest one I've seen to be honest and that's I backed it <coughs> this page you get um, you can back <coughs> the papers with it here I just created a little journal card look at this beautiful Beautiful images. And then here, um, this is one of the journal cards from the kit. And I did uh, come back and decrease the size of those um, so I could use them as pockets. So there's a little tuck spot. And then here I've just pinned that there. And this is just another little envelope from my own stash. And I can't remember if I put little. Um, yeah, I just tucked in a little little journal card inside there. And 
that's another page from the kit. Um, this was just some tabs that I had left over, and I thought they coordinated, so as I'm going through my stash, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and use those. Here I've embossed this pocket, and then again, I just created this tag uh, by printing out onto cardstock. Here I just created another flip over so you can do some private writing there. I love these papers. They are gorgeous. And then um, this was a journal card and I just cut it and you know put a hole through. So that created a little, another little tag. And then here I've just tucked in. Now this is the piano music roll paper that I've made into a um, pocket. And then I came back with some... Um, tea dyed paper and this was avocado trim that I had left over so I've stitched all that so there's a lot of layering on there. I don't always point out these things but because um, I tend to the flip throughs I tend to go through kind of quick but I always try to do little um, details that often you know I just kind of overlook it when I'm going through the flip through and I guess I should try to slow down a bit here I've just made a double tuck spot. Now these were just um, images from my own um, other, you know, kits that I had left over. Because that, I told you guys I went over um, in, to Wales. Sorry about that. I'm trying to sit down. Um, and I took some stuff to fussy cut, and I had this enormous bond, uh, folder. And so that just, I would never do that again. So that was stuff, you know, I'm just trying to use things up and tidy up in here. Here's another, um, I created another little journal card here with some stitching on that. Now this paper is not part of the kit, um, but it went along with it. So I, I made this as the center of the signature there. I love that. And then this is another page from the kit. And here, I thought the key went really well with the whole theme. And then that opens up, and you've got another journal card in there. And then this is just various things I created into a, um, it's like a snippet tag, fabric tag. Here, I've made a little flip out and lined that with tea dyed paper. And then just another journal card from the kit, and then this is from a, a different um, kit, but it's all obviously Alice themed, so I've got that all that, and then this is the back of that um, piano roll pocket. I love how that came out with the different, I'll show you a bit more. So I love the different uh, colors because you've got the really yellow, and then it's lighter, and then the avocado. So just you know, little things that everything, you know, that I thought would match up nicely with it. Um, I really have enjoyed this. I, you know, have been thinking about an Alice in Wonderland for a while. This is some fabric uh, trim I've stitched on there. But there again, you know, there I really hadn't seen anything that I thought I wanted to work with um, until I spotted this one. And I, I really did enjoy it. This has been a lot of fun. This is another little pocket I created. And then lots of little snippets. Another journal card. I believe that's from a different uh, kit that I coordinated with this. And just a big tag that's been backed with some uh, tea dyed paper. Actually, that was coffee dyed paper. I've started doing coffee dyeing because um, the last couple of times I've done some tea dyeing, the colors haven't been rich enough to, you know, for my liking. So I've kind of thought, well, I'll just take a break and switch back over to coffee dyeing. And um, I have to say, I have missed it because they do come out really pretty. Um, that's another little journal card that you guessed it in a window <coughs> envelope. <laughs> so that just peeks through slightly. And then here I've just made a big pocket. This was one of the journal pages and <clears throat> I've been having a lot of issues with my uh, printer lately, guys. So that's one thing that's um, slowed me down on 
uh, being as active on here. I've had a lot of computer issues and my printer has now decided it doesn't like the cardstock, which is the same problem I had in the U.S. Um, and what's happening is it's it's feeding through and then it's starting the print halfway onto the page and I spent almost all day yesterday with tech support trying to sort it out and uh, we thought we had it all worked out but I don't know so um, this is another this is a little glassine bag um, notebook just plain papers in there but I love the um, the way that came out when I tea dyed that that was using the R Rubio's tea and it gives it a, like a honey color I love that um, but like I said the last couple of times and it's probably uh, me being impatient and not leaving it long enough to uh, because I've never had trouble with that till this last batch, but I think it's because I was in such a hurry. But back to the printer issue. Um, so that's the the Alice One uh, with the pink tabs. Um, so that's where I'm at now, and I'm trying to make a decision on going ahead and purchasing another uh, printer. So if anybody has any advice, uh, I really want to stick with HP because I love the ink plan. Um, if you guys could advise me on a, a printer that will accept the cardstock without issues. This one started out no problems, but now it's just driving me mad and it's costing me so much in cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to say this is Alice number two. The um, cover is the same, but you can see I've got, <coughs> I've got a dangle bit on the other one, but only one. I don't know why, <laughs> but this one I just played around, and uh, so this one's got the blue tabs. Okay, so very similar. Um, I've tried to include the same kind of ephemera. You know, there might be various, um, you know, some subtle differences, but here is another little journal card I made on the back of that with some tea dyed paper and just little cards from my stash that I thought coordinated. Oh, that's got to go down. Uh-oh. Yeah, that Fabri-Tac. There we go. So that'll flip over and you can do a bit of writing there. Um, so yeah, that was how I spent yesterday on the phone with uh, HP, and it was kind of funny. I got the really sweet girl on uh, customer service. I, I have to say, my experience with HP has been really, really good. I know, I've heard some bad things, but I have always had good results. But anyways, I got this little girl on there, and I don't know, we were trying to, you know, my accent, well, she was Polish, and then here me with a... I don't know what, I've got some kind of a morphed, you know, southern, northern thing going. Um, we were try I was trying to read off the serial number on the back of that thing, and oh my God, I got the giggles. And of course she, luckily she was, you know, good natured, she got the giggles. And we like to never got through that serial number, it was absolutely hilarious, because I don't... Uh, people can't ever, you know, understand me when I'm saying like P or, <laughs> and it was just, it was absolutely hilarious and I just, I don't know, sometimes I get the giggles and I cannot stop and, oh, it was just forever trying to get that resolved and then, like I said, we just went through everything. This just a little envelope, there's nothing in there. Um, I love those little pens. Those were from Tuesday morning. I've had those about, gosh, well, probably close on two years now. I keep hoarding them, and I found them um, again. <laughs> I keep rediscovering stuff, and I was like, oh, okay, it's time to start parting with them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was my day yesterday. Uh, trying to think what we did this week, and we, we spent... Um, what did we do Saturday? Gosh, it's all a blur. 
We did a walk this weekend that was super nice here. They've got an area here called the Forest of Dean. And uh, we've been taking Daisy over there for the last year, but we never really fully explored it. And uh, I went online and looked up this walk, and it was called the Sculpture Walk. And so you, it, it's more aimed, at, well, probably more for children, but you you just walk through the forest, and then you try to find, there's so many sculptures within the forest. So that was different. Um, and you could see it's very much aimed towards, uh, this is two, two journal cards in here, aimed towards children. And oh, what an amazing place if you had small children, because they got an adventure park area that you can take them through and they can mount you know like the rock climbing and then they've got where they hook them on to the um, harness thing and they go across these little wood um, bridges oh, it's just ah, oh, I was like oh would it look really bad if I went over there and played, played on it myself <laughs> I love stuff like that and this is why I really really would love to have a grandchild because I'd so love to just be going and doing that stuff. Because then you got an excuse. It looks a little bit pervy if somebody my age just shows up and, you know, people would think, well, what's, what, you know, these days people are just strange about it. But, oh, I was so wanting to, to go over there and, uh, and get into that little adventure park. Oh, and throughout. They, I thought this was so nice. The forestry department had set up little teepees out of um, limbs that they had cut down. So every little bit, the kids could just go in their little camps. And I loved it. Of course, I did. Nobody was around, so I did go into those. And um, we got a couple of pictures of us inside. But it was just such a nice area. And then afterwards, we stopped and... Uh, he, Paul had a coffee and I had a tea and a piece of cake. I shouldn't have, but um, my favorite cake, I think, is coffee walnut. And I have to say, I, I never really saw it. It could just be the area of the country I'm from, but I never really saw coffee walnut cake that much in the U.S. In fact, I never saw it at all. Um, and I discovered it here, and oh my gosh, that is like the best cake ever. Um, so I had to have a piece of that, and it was very nice. Sometimes you have to be careful when you're out. Some of the cakes can be really dry, but <clears throat> but luckily that was a nice piece. And I felt as though I deserved it after that hike, so I've got a real weakness for uh, desserts. I, I freely admit it. A um, couple of more journal cards. Sorry, I'm just chattering, but you can see what I'm well, It's basically the same as the other. I just wanted to, I just really wanted you to see there are some differences. And then this one is the, um, the little lasting bag on this one. This one I've done is like a little flip-up type. Um, just with scrappy papers I had left over. And then there's the journal card on the back. Um, I don't know if I said all of the um, pockets in the front and the back on both journals are layered up with muslin, lace, and then the image and, and more lace. So, you know, there, there's a lot going on. And, and that, that's I've done both journals the same on that. So there you go, guys. <coughs> That's, those are my Alice in Wonderland for um, my porch prints. I'll put her link below. So, you know, if you're in, interested, check that out. And I will be back very soon. I've got a couple more journals to share. So you guys have a great week. I um, hope everybody's doing well. And um, I'll see you here very soon. Bye.